It's me. Hi, it's about 3.30 in the morning on Saturday. Friday morning, I woke, I wasn't feeling the best. So I had oatmeal for breakfast. And since it was my sister-in-law's birthday, I called her and sang happy birthday to her and was talking to her for a little bit. And then my brother ended up calling. And I... It ended our phone call, which was okay because we got to the point where you get awkward and you don't know what to say, so there's a lot of dead air, you know, a lot of silence. So he saved both of us from having to figure out how to say goodbye. They're having, or they had salmon and broccoli, which sounded really good. I hadn't had supper yet. I was going to have potato soup because I was still on the feeling well. So what I did was I made the potato soup but I ground up some broccoli in my food processor and put it in the potato soup. So that was really good. That and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So really good supper. And I haven't really been cheating. I'm trying to be good. Saturday this afternoon at 3. Um, supposed to be the warmest part of the day too. It's going to be, what was it, 4 degrees? Or four, uh, no, six degrees, forty Fahrenheit six. But presently, it's one degree Fahrenheit. No, it's one degree Celsius and thirty-three Fahrenheit presently. So it's gonna be cold, and it might snow and rain. I don't know. If it does, I'm not probably not going to go to the meetup, the it speak Italian meetup, which I haven't been to for maybe two months. There's supposed to be seven people there tomorrow or today so we'll see uh, what's been bugging me um, moving yep moving right along and things are moving right along my son and his girlfriend put an offer down on a house it's pending which means I have to get my ass in gear. If it's approved, then I'll be moving. And I am not ready. Even though I would start months and months and months ago, I'm still not ready. I have downsized a bit. But 22 years living here and, you know. And I, I was brought up like, uh, this will come in handy someday, so you hold on to it. Like I had a whole bag full of Parmesan, well, I still have a box full of Parmes empty Parmesan cheese bottles or canisters. And I had a bunch of coffee cans and I had em empty bottles from pickles and stuff. And I got rid of a lot of that stuff. But if this deal goes through and I move out there, there's 99% of stuff I'm not going to be able to take. It's going to be a big change a big change. I don't do well with change. I just, I, I'm somewhere on the spectrum because change is very difficult for me. Let me put it this way. I had been coding medical records for two years using the hospital system and they got a brand new system and most everyone else in the department learned it within two or three days. It took me about a month. So change is not cool with me. I have set schedules and routines that I do. And if they're messed up, then it kind of messes me up. Like Jeopardy. I looked online to see if they have Jeopardy out where I'd be moving. Yes, they do. It's on Channel 7, apparently, out there. And it comes on at 7 at night, so that's easy to remember. But, I don't know, man. It's exciting, but I'm going to have to redo everything. Doctor, financial stuff, everything. And I'm kind of freaking. A freak who's freaking. <clears throat> well, I've talked long enough. Uh, Monday night is 
a rescheduling of the Writers Guild Christmas party, which I'm tickled. And I responded saying, oh goody, I have a skit. If it's okay, it has a lot of nasty innuendos. And the guy goes, yeah, great, say, see you, see you Monday. I'm like, okay, it's going to be Candy Clam. Her, her rear in view, her year in review. That's what I decided. Gonna goof it up, gonna be goofy. Yep. I only need a couple things at the grocery store. I'm proud of myself for stocking up the pantry. Because I really, you know, I really don't need much at all. And I have plenty of stuff I'm starting just to eat a little at a time. I'm having rice or making soup instead of going out and buying stuff all the time. And I can't tell you the last time, well, yes, I can, that I bought fast food. I bought Chinese food on New Year's Eve day. <laughs> Other than that, I hadn't been to a fast food place to buy fast food in probably a year. Yeah, that's how I save money. <sighs> Brother, help me. <laughs> oh, i got a sneeze coming, so I'll let you go. Upward and onward.